Hi, I'm Turtwig, and I'm here playing Super Mario World. In the last video, we beat the entire special world. So as you can see, I haven't beat the game 100% yet, only 92%. Uh, but apparently the first time I played the game, which I thought that I had also 100%ed it, I had not. I'd gotten less done there than in this series, so... I think that's pretty good. Like, I think probably... I mean, I could look it up or something, but... I'm pretty sure I found all the secret exits, so I don't know, maybe the rest, the, the other 8% is going to be like, uh, finding all the dragon coins and all the levels or something. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I might look up something or other to, uh, find out if there are actually any levels I haven't played yet. And if there are, then I'll make some more videos and show those off later, but I'm kind of going to be treating this as the finale of Super Mario World, because that's basically what it is. You may be noticing that everything looks like it's a different color. That's because when you beat the special world, everything sort of gets reskinned a little bit. Uh, although, uh, this level seems kind of the same? Um, also, why am I back at five lives? Did I only have five lives when I beat Funky in the last video? I don't know. Okay, this level seems like it's exactly the same. I'm gonna quit, go to another level. Because... Things are supposed to change. I know that they are. Um... I know the Koopas are supposed to look different in everything. Huh. Apparently it's treating it like, uh, this is the first time I've seen Yoshi. Which makes sense. I kind of beat the game, so it's sort of like starting over. Ah, yeah, there we go. See that pumpkin? Yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the things that have changed. Basically, that's just a bunch of sprite swaps. They don't change all the backgrounds to be sort of fall colors, like they do with, uh, the overworld, but, I don't know, that would probably take up a lot of data and everything. So yeah, I guess all the piranha plants, all the piranha plant-like things have become pumpkins. I want to show off some more, some of the other stuff. Like, I know the Koopas are different, and I think Goombas probably are, too? Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna be kind of walking around in this one and showing stuff off a little bit. So, so you can see what it looks like once you beat the special world. And so, this could happen... Okay, I'm gonna clean this all over, so it looks like it's not gonna be much interesting over there. Um, this... Could, you could do this at any time, like I said, uh, if you know where the secret exits are and stuff. You can find the special world, um, you can find the special world at any time and beat it, you know, at any time if you want to. If you're that dedicated to beating those challenging levels, like, in the middle of the game, approximately. So I want to find some normal Koopas with, with their shells on them. These, or you know, would normally have their shells on them, but you, you will see what they're what they're actually like. Now that I've beaten Special World, and I actually wasn't sure if it was ah yeah there they are. Yeah, they have. Well, these are green Koopas that are wearing Luigi faces. I think the red ones are wearing Mario faces, like masks. And now that I'm really thinking about this, it is kind of all Halloween themed, and I'm kind of disappointed that maybe I didn't get this far by Halloween, but hey, what are you gonna do? I couldn't push myself that far. I mean, Halloween was like a while ago. Anyway, I'd like to see some of the Mario Mask ones, and I don't know, there's probably some other changes that I, I'm not gonna end up showing off, but, but uh, that's because you should play the game for yourself. Beat it and f find all of these. Dang it, I lost you. Find, find all of these. Uh, find all these secrets out for yourself. Find out what else has changed by playing playing the game for yourself. Um, give Nintendo your money for this game. And hopefully, because I said that, they'll let me have my own money for this video. <clears throat> so yeah, that's basically where we are. I'm just kind of showing off. Uh, well, not secrets, really, but, you know, bonus content that you kind of get from, uh, beating the game. Uh, let me go... Let me go over to the Forest of Illusion, because I bet... I bet they have some stuff changed up over there. Oh, uh, yeah, look at the inside of this cave. It's all brown now. 
because I guess that's sort of a more fall kind of color, I guess. Ooh, ah, uh, that's strikingly green. I'm not sure what that neon painted grass and bridges are about. Ooh, ooh, look at this spooky forest. Isn't it so much spookier now that it's all warm colors? Cause it's fall now, you know, in game. Oh, there. Oh, I mean, I guess it's a Mario head, but it's blue. Oh, it's blue because it was a blue Koopa. Yeah. Let's see if there's any red Koopas around here, though. I should maybe not kill them with fire instantly. Oh, interesting. You can't, uh, kill Legos with fire. The only way to kill Legos is with Yoshi. Get back here, Yoshi. You're my friend. And I'm very thankful for all that you've done and throughout this whole series. Okay, so, um, I'm not finding a lot of stuff that's actually different. I thought there, I thought there would be more to sort of show off, uh, in the levels. How about this, though? I'll, uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll beat this level, and then I'll go over to the, the overworld, and I'll, uh, oh, you can also throw stuff at them. That also kills me. And I'll, oh, dang it, I lost. Okay, forget about beating this level then, whatever. I'll just, uh, walk around the rest of the overworld and sort of show off what's different. Looks more pink than that bright orange that was in the forest from, from out the outside view. These mountains, too, became weirdly green. Like, what's up with that? I don't know, maybe I'll go into Chocolate Island 5? Might there be any differences here that I didn't know about previously? Also, it's a pretty easy level to beat, so, you know, that's good. Um, just get on Yoshi and make my way through. No, no, in fact, no changes at all, I think, over here in this level. Uh, well, you get the idea, though, right? There's stuff that's different. And, ah, yeah, here we go. I'll pick up this yellow Mario head so I can swim better with it. Uh, I, whoa, wait, look at that, look at that animation. It's not just like a mask, it's like a full head. It's like a, it's like, yeah, I mean, those Koopas are in a costume, but they're not just wearing a mask, they're wearing like a full styrofoam head or something of Mario. That's basically, that's what I'm getting at. I got that mushroom for carrying my own severed head, but with a different colored hat. Although it is this, the color that, uh, you know, that little, uh, thing where the M is supposed to go on Mario's head is. I mentioned that before. So, yeah. I mean, I don't really have much to say. This is the end. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna be playing Super Mario World anymore. <coughs> Unless, like I said before, you know, you know what I said before. You heard it. It's all. It's all good. So I guess, uh, the proper place to end it is right in front of... Bowser's front door to his castle right here, because you know what's going to happen next. I mean, you saw it already. Mario's going to come in there and beat Bowser up, and then he and Luigi and Peach, you know, they'll all save the day. We'll go home, probably, to the Mushroom Kingdom. Because that's how Mario games end. But not this one. Not exactly. See you guys in the next series.